Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2012 uh, to step by step tutorial and this is 21th video in this series and today in this video I am going to show you how to add RD virtualization host in remote desktop services on which is running on Windows Server 2012 R2 so this is a, s a small um, a small diagram how the remote desktop uh, services work with the VDI environment so you can see we have a domain controller which is which is basically running Active Directory services and DNS services and then we have a client machine which uh, by which we are going to access our environment which is running on remote desktop uh, services and these all blue part is the remote desktop infrastructure so in last video we have configured remote desktop app uh, uh, remote desktop web access, remote desktop connection broker services and remote desktop ho host virtualization services which is basically we have created a pulled environment in, um, in uh, by using the remote desktop services so what I'm going to do like uh, if you have a one RD, uh, RD virtualization uh, uh, only then might be you have a case to fail these virtual machine which is going to cause the issue when we have a, a, a host failure for the uh, Hyper-V host failure. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my second RD virtualization host, and this is infrastructure. But uh, it's always recommended to have a, a cluster, which is running a uh, your remote desktop VDI infrastructure. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe you can create a Hyper-V simple Hyper-V cluster with a two node or three node, and you can deploy your VDI pool or personal VDIs to those. Uh, uh, to that particular cluster so whenever host goes down you have a sufficient um, you know, uh, another host available to take the workload so in this video I'm going to simply add one more RD virtualization host uh, and a remote desktop services which we have created so let's move to next slide so this is my environment currently so in last video we have a uh, three servers we are running with the three servers one domain controller one connection broker and uh, and one Hyper-V server so additional in this video I'm going to add this HV0 in, in, uh, 2 in our RD virtualization host environment so let's see from first machine so this is win 2 k 12 dc01 which is my Active Directory DNS and DHCP server so if I go here you can see Active Directory DHCP and DNS server if I go to my DHCP in last video you will see yeah, I, I showed you it's blank, but now if I go here and see, it must be releasing some IP address. You can see my all the VDIs which is running having the IP address from this DHCP pool. So good to know that. So, and I have a next machine which is Win2K12 RDS01, which is my connection broker and remote app services. So if I go here on RDS01. In local uh, remote desktop services you can see we have a connection broker and RD web access running on RDS01 which is this machine itself RDS01 and last machine as a uh, Hyper-V server which is Win2K12 HV0 so if I go here on Hyper-V server you can see this machine is uh, Win2K12 HV01 and if I go to tools and Hyper-V manager you can see all the virtual machines VDIs which we have created in last videos is running here so good to know and we have uh, this infrastructure so basically we have um, uh, two machines one with the connection broker and web access and second is the RD, RD virtualization host so what is our goal in this video to add this HV02 Hyper-V server as a RD virtualization host in this remote desktop infrastructure so if I go here and click RD virtualization host you will see this machine is not um, showing here so to get this machine here I need to click on manage and add servers and find here is my H2 server which Win2K12 HV02 so I'm going to add this and click OK if I go to all servers now I can see the machine is there so I'm going to start the performance counter so if we have any performance issue let and see it's going to show us so good to know its machine is there now and if I go here now and add virtualization host server we can see here when to get 12 HV02 is there click to add this machine click on next 
And if you see here, create a new uh, new virtual switch on the selector server is my tick is marked. So that's good. So now if I you can see the this server which may be restarted after the service role installation. So we know this machine is going to restart because it's going to install a Hyper-V role. So it's perfectly fine. Click on Add. And now you can see our virtualization host role is getting installed. So it, this machine is going to have a Hyper-V and once the Hyper-V machine is installed, it's going to auto reboot. So let's wait for a few seconds and see how it's going to reboot. So you can see installation is almost done. In a few seconds, this machine is going to reboot now. So still showing installing. Now you can see status is restarting. So go to that machine and see the the HV02 is now rebooting because it's since, uh, taking the effect after after installation the Hyper-V role. So it's good. Looking everything good now. So we have to wait for f to complete the reboot. So let's wait. It's again. It's rebooting. So because it's installing the Hyper-V role, so Hyper-V requires to reboot. So machine is getting reboot now. So this must be a final reboot for this machine. After this, we will see the machine installation is succeeded and everything going to be happen correctly. So now it's applying computer setting, good to go and now hit control at the Dell to log into that machine HV02. So now it's still you can see this is showing restart so it's going to soon reflect configuring or now you can see status is configuring. So it must be creating few virtual switches and applying the extra settings. So almost near about to finish this configuration. I can see the HV02 having a Hyper V role installed and it's showing remote desktop services also. So good to know that. So now you can see the status is succeeded and now we have a HV01 and HV02 both as a RD virtualization host so we can now we can deploy virtual machines or VDI on both the machine so I'm going to click here and I'm going to click on my Hyper-V manager so you can see the Hyper-V manager is installed and if I go to virtual switch you can see RD virtual switch is created so good looking good now I'm going to do Hyper-V settings and I'm going to create a you can see here one fold HV data is already there so it looks good we have RDS export folder also so I'm going to change the path here only so the virtual hard disk for disk file is this and the virtual machine is going to save on this folder so We are good with this and now I'm going to apply this setting and finish and now you can see on uh, HVZ uh, here if I go to pull machine you can see we have a uh, three VDI's are running on H1 so uh, HV01 so I'm going to add few VDI's three same three VDI's on H2 on HV2 so add virtual desktop right click I'm going to assign the number I want three virtual machines it's saying uh, there are currently three virtual desktop in this collection so I'm going to add more three so the total is six so I'm going to deploy this time not on HV01 I'm going to deploy all on SV03 so I selected HV03 count three new desktop virtual desktop click next and now it's saying specify the number of three 
and virtual desktop allocation 3 virtual desktop on HV02 so click on create now when I cr click on create it's going to export the file and copy that file to RD virtualization host here on a RDS export because uh, this is given in last video we have given this setting so you can see it's creating the virtual hard disk here so good to know it's creating the template and now once the template is copied to this location it's going to add the virtual machines in a collection so and it, it's automatically going to join these machines in AD so we can launch the AD also to see the machines is coming or not so if I go to Noida you can see last three VDIs is here so soon we will get more VDIs so currently it's not creating anything if I go to task manager and see if there is data copies running you can see the copy is running it's receiving the file basically the uh, it's receiving the uh, image or template from HV02 to 02 if I go here you can see the, this machine must be in a state to send okay so uh, seems copy is done so that's why it's not giving a yeah copy is done so now it's going to create a virtual machine so you can see now it's creating the virtual machine and its status is running so one VDI is created now so we have a three VDI Z VDI 0 1 and 2 and now it's created the next one which is VDI 3 so same way it's going to create a more three uh, VDI 3 and 4 so we are going to have a total 6 VDI and this infrastructure so we have to wait for a few more minutes here till it's deployed the virtual machines and total 3 VDIs so I'm going to pause the recording here once the 3 VDI is deployed we will write back from there and I will show the status of the deployment and the uh, RDS remote desktop services so I am pausing the recording here so now it's deploying the last machine which is VDI 5 and if I go to RDS you can see the almost it's saying uh, almost 70 percent is completed and if I go to my Active Directory and the HCP server reflects so you can see it's giving next few machines like 3 and 4 but 5 is not yet ready so it's not giving IP address for it and if I go to node you in my domain controller so refresh it so you can see the account has been computer account has been created 6 total 6 so we are good with the computer account we are good with the DHCP and now just wait for uh, you can see all the 6 machines is here so just wait for last machine to get the installation finished then we can uh, see uh, all the six VDIs here so I'm going to pause recording once again and we'll write back once the collection is created six uh, three machine is added to collection so going to pause the recording once again so now you can see the uh, all three machines is created and now if I go to RDS you can see the request uh, request to add a virtual desktop to the collection pull VDI completed successfully if I go and close this you can see we have a now 6 VDI and as this is a pulled environment if we have a RD, uh, HV01 goes down we have, we don't have to uh, um, uh, we don't have to worry because we have a 3 virtual machines which is running on HVD, uh, HV02 is good to serve the client so this is how we can create, a, create and add the RD virtualization host and remote desktop services on Windows Server 2012 R2 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any questions related to this video you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye